It is Raphael week on the Dr. Duke Show where we get to uh, study the work of and the, the biography of one of the great painters of Western culture. Uh, Michelangelo, you got Da Vinci, and you got Raphael. That's the, the, the big three of the high renaissance. There are other great painters, really great painters, but those three. And uh, talk a little bit about Raffaello Sanzio de Urbino. That's his firm, full name, born in 1483, died in 1520, known as Raphael. Uh, and go ahead and give us our picture here. He was an Italian painter and architect of the high renaissance. His work is admired for its clarity of form, ease of comp composition, the visual achievement of the Neoplatonic ideal of human grandeur. These painters, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and of course Raphael, were trying to idealize the human form, to make it perfect, to be able to represent, to hold a mirror up to the natural world and create human form and human emotion and the human soul through art in ways that even nature in its all of its flawed nature itself was unable to do so. So uh, that's an important thing. And if you take a look at this beautiful picture here, this is a portrait of a young woman with a unicorn. And uh, it seems kind of an odd, even when, I, when Katie saw that we were doing this, uh, she was tickled by the idea of the unicorn. Uh, it's it's, it's a, a, a Renaissance ideal, this painting here. Unicorns in the late medieval, early Renaissance period were uh, symbols of fidelity, among other things. They were creatures of remarkable um, of independence because there weren't too many of them around, they thought. Uh, they were ma magical creatures, but they, are, they were symbols of fidelity. The composition of the picture, placing the figure in a, a beautiful loggia, opening out onto a landscape, the three-quarter length format was apparently inspired by the Mona Lisa. You can certainly see that when you look at this picture, that perhaps at the back of his mind, Raphael had the sensation that was the Mona Lisa, the La Gigonda, uh, which, which was painted, of course, by da Vinci between 1503 and 1503. One art historian actually observes of the painting, quote, however unabashedly Raphael adopts the pose, compositional framework and spatial organization of the Leonardo portrait, the cool watchfulness in the young woman's gaze is very different than the image we get from the Mona Lisa. And that's true. She looks really concerned. She almost looks like she's on edge or on alert. You don't have that kind of the smile, the half, not that mis mysterious half smile. Uh, a restoration of this painting a cleaning and a restoration that was done in the 1930s confirmed uh, that really before there was a unicorn, which was a, a, traditional, a tr traditionally a symbol of chastity and fidelity in medieval romance, in was the place that was a, a St. Catherine's wheel. So before this painting was altered, it was actually a, a, supposed to be an image of St. Catherine. Catherine. She was killed in part by being, she was going to be put on a wheel, a rack basically, and tortured. Now that was what was in her hands. You almost can see her hands bowing in, in a circular way. And later, re, later uh, changes to the painting replaced that wheel with an, a really kind of cute unicorn. It's a baby, right?